so in the previous video we saw what is an ionic bond what is ionic bond it is a bond formed by complete transfer of electrons what is the nature of the bond it is a very strong bond and electrostatic force of forces of attraction are present between the atoms now what are the factors which form which favor the formation of ionic bond so one is low ionization enthalpy and high electron gain enthalpy so ionic bond is formed between metal and non metal so how is it formed by transfer of electrons from metal to non metal if electron has to be transferred from metal electron has to be removed so what is the energy required to remove the electron from outermost shell of a metal called as it is called as ionization enthalpy when ionization enthalpy is very less electron can be removed very easily so we say one of the factors which determines formation of ionic bond is low ionization enthalpy of metal then what is high electron gain enthalpy electron gain enthalpy is the energy released when electron is added to an atom now this non metal is deficient of electron so whenever an electron is added to it it will go to stability by releasing energy therefore we say high electron gain enthalpy of non metal so which are the two factors which determine ionic bond formation low ionization enthalpy of what metal and high electron gain enthalpy of non metal these are the two factors which determine ionic bond formation let us talk about structure of ionic compounds what is the structure and nature of these ionic compounds nacl what we use as common salt in our kitchen is called as rock salt okay and you know you can feel its tex texture they are coarse like you know sand and all so ionic compounds exist as crystalline solids with definite shape and these ions are held together by which kind of force strong electrostatic force of attraction now different ionic compounds have different crystalline structure it should be true so nacl structure should be different from calcium chloride structure and why the structures are different because the crystal structure depends on the size of cations and anions so once again i shall repeat coming to the structure of ionic compounds ionic compounds exist as crystalline solids with definite structures these ions are held together by strong electrostatic force of attraction different ionic compounds have different crystalline structure and the crystal structure depends on size of cation and anion now suppose i want to break these crystalline structures then i have to apply some kind of energy to break them and that energy is called lattice energy or lattice enthalpy so what is lattice enthalpy it is the amount of energy released when one mole of ionic compound is formed from its constituent gaseous ions or it is the amount of energy required to break one mole of solid ionic compound into gaseous ions now what is the relation between lattice enthalpy and stability greater the lattice energy greater is the stability of ionic compounds in today's video we shall learn about a covalent bond so what is a covalent bond it is formed between two atoms by sharing of electrons so what is a covalent bond it is a bond formed between two atoms by sharing of electrons and what was ionic bond it was the bond formed by complete transfer of electrons from metals to non metals but in case of bond covalent bond there is sharing of electrons in case of ionic bonds there is complete transfer of electrons okay i shall read it once again so what is a covalent bond it is a bond formed between two atoms how by sharing of electrons and this concept was introduced by langmuir who ruled out the lewis cubical octet structure hope you remember um cubical octet structure you had a kernel and you had a cube where vertices of a cube were what uh, shown by the electrons okay coming to formation of a covalent bond now 
the electronic configuration of chlorine is noble gas ns2 i mean 3s2 3p5 in the outermost shell how many electrons are there 7 5 plus 2 7 so this is the outermost shell called by the number 3 okay it has one electron less to attain stable configuration so how many electrons are needed to become stable yes eight electrons but how many chlorine is having five plus two seven so i have shown seven electrons for one chlorine atom here one two three four five six seven okay and I have shown another chlorine atom with the same configuration. It should have the same number of outermost electrons. So, 5, 6, 7. So, I have shown with a cross mark the number of valence electrons of chlorine. Now, suppose this chlorine shares its electron with this chlorine atom. And this chlorine shares its electron with this chlorine atom. Then, together they will have how many electrons? So, look here. How many this chlorine is atom? This chlorine atom is having one, two, three, four, five, six, one of its electron and one electron from the neighboring chlorine atom. So all together it has eight electrons. Now the same number of electrons is counted for another chlorine atom. So this is shared pair and these are the lone pairs. So together if you count number of electrons for this chlorine atom there are 8 electrons and for this chlorine also there are 8 electrons. Now how is the bond formed? By sharing of their electrons. Such a bond is called as a covalent bond. Now what are the features of a covalent bond? Each bond is formed as a result of what? Sharing of electron pair between two atoms. And each of the bonded atoms contributes at least one electron for sharing. What does it mean? It should contribute one electron. Can it share more than one electron? Yes. It can contribute more than one electron. Minimum how, it, how much it has to contribute? At least one. So each of the bonded atoms contribute at least one electron for sharing. Now the bonded atoms attain stable octet configuration after sharing the electron pairs. Once the atoms are bonded then they should attain what? Stable octet configuration. That is why they are involved in bond formation. Now suppose if only one electron pair is shared then a single covalent bond is formed. For example in case of ethane. If two electron pairs are shared then a double bond is formed like this. So how many electrons? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for this one. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 for this carbon atom. If three electrons pairs if three electron pairs are shared, then a triple bond is formed. Now, we shall look into the steps to be followed to write Lewis dot structure. So, before you start writing the Lewis dot structure, what you have to do? Follow some of the steps. This is already learnt in class 10. Anyway, I am going to again teach it once again. So, first step is you have to calculate the total number of valence electrons of all the atoms of the molecule. Suppose I have methane. Okay. So you have uh, methane, CH4, which are the atoms here? Carbon and hydrogen. What is the valency of carbon? 4. What is the valency of hydrogen? 1. But how many hydrogen atoms are there? 4. So 1 into 4. So how many electrons are there for carbon? 4. And how many are there for hydrogen? 4 into 1 that is 4. So total number of electrons is equal to 8 in case of methane. So in methane total electrons, total number of electrons, which electrons? Valence electrons is equal to 8. Okay, this is step number 1. You have to calculate what? The total number of valence electrons of the molecule for which you are going to write Lewis dot structure. Once the number of total number of electrons are calculated, we will see what we have to do. Now, suppose if a cation, you are supposed to write the structure, Lewis dot structure of cation. Cations are represented by positive charge. If one positive charge is there, 
you have to minus 1 atva remove one electron from the total number of valence electrons if anion is present you know anions have negative charge so how, how many number of negative charge they have so many number of electrons you have to add to the valence electrons total valence electrons once again i shall repeat now suppose you are asked to write the structure of cation lewis dot structure of cation and anion what you have to do in case of cation cation is one which has positive charge first calculate the total number of valence electrons okay then check the number of positive charge on the cation suppose if it is plus 1 so you have to remove 1 from the total valence electrons suppose if it is plus 2 then remove 2 from the total valence electrons okay then in anions what is an ion anion anion has a negative charge suppose it has one negative charge minus one then you have to add this one electron to the total valence electron so suppose if it is minus two in case of anion then you have to add two electrons to the total number of electrons for example in oh minus okay the total valence electrons on oxygen and hydrogen is seven oxygen is six and for hydrogen is plus 1. So, 6 plus 1 is 7. But OH is having minus 1. So, you have to add 1 electron to 7. Thus, the total number of valence electrons in OH minus is 8. Now, coming to the third point, while writing the structure, less electronegative atom is taken as the central atom and higher electronegative atom will take the terminal positions for example in carbonate ion carbon is have carbon is the central atom why i have taken carbon as the central atom because out of carbon and oxygen which is more electronegative atwa which is less electronegative carbon is less electronegative yes along the period electronegativity increases so carbon first comes first and then comes oxygen therefore carbon is less electronegative so it is taken in the center and more electronegative atoms are written besides it so it is co3 2 minus once the skeletal structure of the molecule is determined that is co3 okay once you have determined it then the total number of electrons are distributed as shared pairs between these atoms. Now again I shall take the previous example only. So in uh, methane we had calculated the total number of electrons as 8. So out of carbon and hydrogen I have written carbon in the center and hydrogen along the sides. Okay, now you have to distribute these num total number of valence electrons as shared pair between these two atoms. Atwa between the atoms which are present here. Okay, so how many are there? Eight. So one pair, second pair, third pair and the fourth pair. I have shared between these two, uh, I mean carbon and hydrogen atom that gives Lewis dot structure of methane ok now of suppose you have more number of electrons still left then what you have to do after assigning the shared pair of electron pairs remaining electrons are used to make multiple bonds they are used to make multiple bonds or are retained as unshared electron pairs Understood? So, remaining electrons are used as what? Are used as unshared electron pairs or they are used to make multiple bonds. So, we shall uh, look into some of the examples. Now, we shall discuss some of the examples. Now, suppose I will take example of um, CH4. Once again, I shall repeat this. Carbon has how many valence electrons? 4. Hydrogen? 1. But how many are there? 4 hydrogen atoms. So, 1 into 4. So, total 
valence electrons will be how many? 8. So first you write carbon and then you arrange hydrogen atoms around it. Then these 8 electrons have to be given as shared pair. So one shared pair, second shared pair, third shared pair and the fourth shared pair of electrons. So this is Lewis dot structure of methane. Now we shall take up structure of water H2O. So how many valence electrons are there? How, which are the elements present? Hydrogen. How many? Two. So what is the valency of one hydrogen atom? One. But how many are there? Two. So total number of electrons, valence electrons in hydrogen atom is two. And oxygen. How many valence electrons are present? Six. Okay. How many oxygen atoms are there? One. So 1 into 6 that is 6. So total valence electrons is equal to 8. Okay. So oxygen and I am going to write hydrogen atoms beside it. 1, 2 I have written. So 8 electrons first you have to share write the shared pair of electrons. So one pair one coming from hydrogen another shared pair. So this X is coming from hydrogen. So a hydrogen has given away its electron. So I cannot write any more electrons surrounding hydrogen atom. So whatever is left I have to arrange with oxygen only. I cannot even make double bonds because valency of hydrogen is only 1. So left out how many electrons are there? How many I have written here? 4. How many are left out? 4 more. So you have to give them as lone pair. So lone pair 1, lone pair 2. This is Lewis dot structure of water. So we we'll look into nitrogen. Okay. So what is the structure of nitrogen molecule? N2. How many nitrogen atoms are there? 2. What is the valency of nitrogen atom? 5. So 2 nitrogen atoms it should be 10 valence electrons. So write 2 nitrogen atoms and you have to share how many electron pairs? I mean how many electrons? 10 in the form of what? Pairs. So 5 pairs. Correct? 5 pairs. Between 2 atoms remember you can make maximum of 3 bonds. Not more than that. So I will share pair number 1. Pair number 2, pair number 3. So how many are here? How many electrons are there? 6. How many more I have to supply now? How many more? 4 more. Atwa 2 pair more. 2 pairs more. So I have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 3 bond pairs and two lone pairs. Count the number of electrons. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Right? Or how many pairs? 3, 4, 5. 5 pairs. Now we shall take up example of ethene. So ethene is C2, H4. How many carbon atoms are there? Two carbon atoms. How many? What is the valency of carbon? Four. But how many are there? Two. So there are total number of eight electrons. How many hydrogen atoms are here? Four. Valency of hydrogen atom is one. But how many are there? Four. So four ones are four. So total number of electrons will be eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. How many carbon atoms? 2, 1 and 2. How many hydrogen atoms? 3. Sorry, 4 hydrogen atoms. 1, 2, 3 and 4. So first we will satisfy this one. How many um, valence electrons are given by hydrogen? 1 each. So 1 each. I have written them and they make bond with carbon. Right? So, 
i cannot make double bonds between carbon and hydrogen because carbon valency is only one so how many bonds i have made now four bonds correct so how many more number of electrons are present to be allotted so how many i have used 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 8 how many more are left correct four more so 8 9 10 10 another pair i have to give so it will become a double bond so you have this structure so 12 electrons means how many pairs six pairs check there are six pairs or not 1 2 3 4 5 and six pairs so this is structure of ethene sorry ethene ethene and alkene